Today, we do a two hour road trip around the beautiful country of Tunisia. With me is the British legend Harry Jaggard and the Don Rob. And on our first day, we take a road trip over to the beautiful Corbus Hot Springs, where we do some swimming with locals and see where the hot springs meet the sea. The next day, we visit a beach in Clibia, which is a beautiful coastal city, and then do a few more things into the evening. And I share this vlog with you guys in a very raw and unique style. Let's jump right in. Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome back to another video here in Tunzi, also known as Tunisia. We are here with a couple of legends. These legends may or may not have been seen on the channel before, but I can tell you we're in for a crazy time. We've got the Donathan Rob. Hello. No hands. <laughs> and we've got the Tunisian legend. Ah, assalamu alaikum. Malikum salam ya khaye. Yeah. And kilomne into kifak ya khaye. Ah, merhaba. Merhaba. And today, my friends, we are just leaving the outskirts of Tunisia. We picked up ourselves a fresh rental car here mm. for a whopping $40 per day. So I can tell you that for those of you coming out here, don't go to kayak.com for $500 for three days because we got it for $128. Not a collab, but definitely something to know. Anyways, we are cruising out this way right along like uh, water on one side, kind of like this wild desert ish landscape on one side a very industrial side of tunisia coming up on here like a massive port and we're going to be road tripping for about one and a half hours to get us over to a natural hot spring that's connected to the sea so from what we were told at the car rental place when you're like halfway in the water you're going to feel like the hot spring and then you go a little bit further out and then you're going to be hitting that cold water so it's going to be a pretty cool experience and we've got the dawn rob driving in Northern Africa, so Habibi. it's gonna be wild. Yala Habibi! Yala Habibi! All right, this right here is typical uh, driving around this area. We're heading towards Tunis, so no, we're not going towards Tunis, but uh, yeah. I will say the driving here is a bit more tamed than in Lebanon. You still have like, you know, in both countries where people are going over the lines, but in a lot of places in Lebanon, you don't have the lines in the road because people are just driving in between them. Like in Lebanon, you'd have three cars in this area. This fucking breaks. Here, people are stopping, cutting each other off, and uh, like going straight. owning the road. Yep. But. And then that's another round about. Uh, when uh, Corbus uh, Thermal? Okay, I'm going to go to Ashra. When are you going to Okay, uh, Tene Jaya Jabal? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Tamam. Kellogg Zoya, yeah. take Alpha Fafi, Echaye. Take Alpha Merci. Merci. Shukran, Aishik. Looks like there might be a road back. All right. Yeah, basically, he's saying we gotta go back up to the roundabout and around. We gotta go on the other side of the mountain to get there. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the funny part is I remember learning the word Tene Jaya. And I was like, when am I gonna ever use, like, because I learned the flashcard, like, uh, other side and now finally the word I said other side like on the other side of the mountain I was like finally other side although that makes so much sense why I would be using that word but it's funny to uh, actually remember some of these words that I learned on flashcards and now be like all right there's the sign we were looking for there Corbus this way Yala Habib hello no I lost my glasses back there no. <laughs> Damn it, they're definitely gonna get ran over. Inshallah. And are they run over? No, nope, you 
messed up. Yes. Alas. All right. Alas. Well, this is why you keep your head inside the car. Glasses, I see you. Anyways, my friends, I was going out to give you guys a nice update that we are out here in the country. And there they are. There they are. Let's pull up right. Hello. Oh, we're back in business. Anyways, that spiced up the drive a bit. There's nobody that lives out here except maybe one house in the distance there. Truly a serene place. I did not expect it to be like this green out here, especially because honestly right now we're probably at 35 Celsius, something like that. Like it's it's hot. This is the, yeah, it's just, it doesn't get hotter than this. No hotter than Hello! this. Hello! Hello! couple of dogs out here. Oh, it's a pack of them. Look at this. We've got the dogs. Good boy, sit. Down boy. Oh, watch out. Don't hit this one. This is one. This is one. What about you? Yeah, yeah. He was on the other side of the street laughing when he saw me hanging out the window. Keep our kai. Oh, looks like they're just telling us to go. Decided to take a stop over there. Well, I think it is right down there where we're heading, my friends. Right down in that little bay. Yada! It is quite a beautiful drive to get down here. Best for last, as they say. Well, I'm glad we didn't get uh, over to the place for the original route we were going to take. What I would guess is that road we saw where the construction was when we had to ask the uh, construction worker, that must be a future road that they're building to connect the coastal highway. But this one is a much better view because basically it takes you right down this road that just zigzags right in these beautiful cliffs. And once you get down there, you got a nice beautiful surprise waiting for you. And look at this, it looks like we're getting into a slightly more populated area. We've got a restaurant here. Not a single person there. La Wah de Leon. And here we are. Marhaba. Look at this guys. We have arrived to the city center area. So we just drove past where the springs are and it's it's a cool little charming place, you know? Yeah. Quite uh I mean quite quiet at this hour but you can see a couple locals we were waving I wasn't filming a bit when we were driving through and they're all uh, really nice everyone's waving back so we'll see if they can point us in the right direction towards the uh, spring but I think it's just right around this little bend right here surrounded by this orange rock truly a unique place I've been to Morocco like I don't know 10 years ago and I do see uh, some similarities to the landscapes but hard to remember because it was so long ago So I think it's right down here is where the natural spring is. And maybe right here, Bain Jacuzzi. Uh, Wayne um, Springs, Corba Springs, Corba Springs, La Tespa. This is La La Mai. The he said it's uh, maybe not exactly 10 minutes, but something back that way. I don't I don't know the exact word he used, but he said it's back that way. I think it was what we saw all those people in the water. It yeah, it must have been. All right, well, this looks like it could be the spot. She a chay, Tamim? Nishkur Allah, Nishkur Allah. Ede betreed? Nindinar. Nindinar, Tamim. 
عندي ميت او تفهم بعربي ايه بهيك شوي عربي شوي شوي اذا بنفزهم من... على الباتو يمشوا يعملوا دورة عين كنسيرة منظر ميزيام برشا ودورة بالباتو ميزيام قريب هون آه. حاد هون ايه عين كنسيرة قد قد الدورة بالسوق ربع ساعة على ساعة ماشي وربع ساعة جاي الوهاب معناتها تنزل غادي في شط مزيان برشا تعومو برشا برشا هالو حلو كتير كتير اوكي اتس جاي سوبر بيوتيفول ميوزيم حبيبي هالو ميرسي طيب يا خاي اول نعطنا نعطنا نسبة هون وبعد يمكن رو طيب هي نيدز تو دينار اي ثينك اي جات اتس 100 بيس يا تيك يا رافي شكرا دو دينا تو دينا لوكس لايك ذس از اباوت اول ذير از تو دو اراوند هير وي غات سم فريش ستريت كورن يو جايز كورن اوكي اي سيت سم مرحبا كيف كون عليكم السلام نشكر الله يو وان كورن خي I'm good, thank you, bro. Okay. Fiasbak, ne. If you want a whole one, I'll eat it too. All right. Fiasbak, what the corner of the mall, Maruf? What the? But that's the Arabic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tamam. What the mall, Maruf? No. Yeah. One cup of water. Yeah. Best one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Tamam. Taib. Yeah. Bitcoin. لا لا والله؟ لا لا صح طيب ميرسي شكرا يا خيي هونيك هيدا الماي كتير سخن؟ عادي ساقع هون؟ ماي عادية اه وين هات برينج؟ هيدا؟ اه تمام ذس ذس ذا اون ذا؟ لا لا فرذر اي ثينك ذا فرست اون بعيد؟ I think it was the first thing that we saw when we came down. We saw these people. Okay. Can you ask how many minutes? Okay. 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 Okay.
Barsha. Oh, thank you, bro. Keep Arabic tabai. Ne? Yeah, tamam, tamam. Nishkur Allah. Good in the neighborhood. Mm. Wow. I like that. Because it cooks right on the charcoal there, it kind of almost turns it into a bit of a popcorn taste, like a much harder corn. Like the traditional way to eat corn in the United States is, it's more of like, um, I think boiled in water, and then it kind of like breaks off easy, but this is like more of a, a chewy crunch to it. The Don Rob did say, it's a bit unhealthier when you're eating it directly off charcoal, but you need a beach snack to get the job done. Mm -mm -mm. How much was Quite that? Nice. Uh, Dinar and 500. Dinar and 500. Wow. Okay, 150. Wow. So we're talking uh, 50 cents. Price. We got the uh, bread right there. Tamam, tamam. Okay. Tip la ilak, Tip la ilak. Tip khaya, merci. Shukran. طيب نطلع ورا هنا هات سبرينغ هلا شرفنا بنشوف كون ريبا اذا على راد ان شاء الله all right guys we have walked a few steps down plus a short little drive literally one minute from where we met those guys right on the other side of this little isthmus and we got the hair man bringing some water oh yeah and this looks like the spot did someone say hot oh. spring and he lost it. So that's a good bridge. Did someone say hot spring? Yummy, yummy. Oh, we got a little music popping off too. Yalla. All right, so this area right down here must be where the actual hot spring is. Just assuming we've got a little waterfall and everyone's inside. So I'm sure like right inside of this area, we are gonna get that nice mix of hot and cold water. Let's do this. Yalla ya robe. Kifak. Mushkur Allah. Ede la tlete? Tlete ashrin. Ashrin? Tlete. Tlete ashrin? Or Ash Ashra. Right. Okay, I'm going to go to the أنا ما بدي بلاستيك. واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة لا عشرين. تمام. أنا ما بدي بلاستيك. لا إلك يا خي. شكرا. Devlin. But I don't want to say... Darby? <laughs> oh. Are we doing a jump? Go, go, go. Yalla! Yalla! Mac, you're going next. Uh, is it deep enough? Add a meter. Add a meter, Honig. Add a meter. Add a, add a meter. Add a meter. Shway? All right, look at this. So we've got the uh, fountain coming right down in here. It's got to be nice and warm. Looks like it's time to go in. Where's the best way to get in? That I do not know. Wow, guys, this is insane. It's basically a mix of hot and cold because you can feel the, uh, the spring coming in from this way. You can feel a mix of hot and cold. Oh. Place is popping off today too. It's so funny because as it mixes with the ocean water, you just feel like pieces of like you feel like moments of like really hot and then cold. Oh, that's a cold blast. Uh, oh, now it's warm. 
Jonathan, yalla. Yachaya, yalla. Oh, he just literally jumped in the uh, shallow part. Wow, yeah, it definitely gets much hotter. I can feel the hot water coming right in. Oh, and there goes Jonathan. Bro, this is crazy. This is crazy. It's super hot over here, and then you'll just feel the ocean coming. It gets ice cold. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is getting much hotter as we get over here. Keep up, you guys. Ketir sochen, ponik, eh? Pon? Oh, ketir sochen. Job, eh? Job. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, that is great. Mm. Oh my god, this is insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Owl Mara Hon? Owl Mara? Tene. Come in, come in. Owl Mara Hon La Ella. Adidi. Adidi Elbe. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro, it's crazy. Like, I just, like, around my belly, it's ice cold, and yeah. then I'll just, like, right up here, it's, like, super hot. Have you ever experienced this before? Not like this, yeah. where it, like, drains in here, yeah. where you get, like, the contrast. Usually it's either, like, really hot springs or just, like, cold water. Yeah, yeah. I just see why everyone's huddling around here. Yeah, exactly. This is my father. Oh, yeah? Uh, well, now I know that why this is such a popular thing to do. It's so cool. At first I was worried what it'd be like in a hot spring right now when it's uh, when it's this hot outside but because you have just like the different feelings of uh, temperatures constantly coming in it makes it super unique. We, uh, should we get the old sand out? Oh yeah it's time. I've got it on me. Oh you got it? Yeah yeah let's we'll do it. Is it filming? <laughs> okay okay. okay. Are you looking good, bro? Yes. Arabic. Arabic. What is this? Oh, get it all over there, bro. Don't be shy. I'm a Tunisian. I got some in my eye, bro, and I can't get it out. Both my hands are screwed. We got him to you too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're getting it all loaded up here, guys. Oh, here we go. All right, we're almost You're looking good, bro. Oh, we got Je ne parle pas en français. Veke, Arabe, or English. Oh, this is fantastic. Hi, hey. Oh, hello. Asan, Asan. Oh, that is nice. Honestly, the uh, skin's feeling super clean after this. That is quite nice. Tunis?
عندي ثلاثة أم مباري فلا كلمات هو هو عنده سيارة أنا أنا نعم ما في سيارة بس هو عنده سيارة وين الريب هون الريب هون لا ادي دريا ادي دريا بي ويجي ادي ادي وقت بي ويجي سيئة والله أقل نص سيئة نص 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 سيئة أه برو we were supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes oh yeah 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 we had mine was like 3 minutes the camera's still rolling oh it's uh oh photo photo underwater all right oh this must be the really hot water Oh, Ah, that is super hot. Put your foot in there. No, I have walked walk by it. I know what that's like. It's crazy hot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that hot, so when I stepped on it, ah. Oh, when you step in those little pockets, it's like super hot. Just comes right out of there. Wow. This is why you gotta wear your flip flops over here. Is he putting his feet in there? Oh, he's putting his feet in? Wait. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh no, macaroni spaghetti. Macaroni spaghetti. <laughs> pizza. Yeah, pizza. <laughs> pizza. Oh, yeah? That's so hot. I uh, know, yeah, you literally do not want to touch that water. He was doing it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, look at his feet. Oh, look at his feet. Oh, yeah, oh, his feet are yeah his feet are burned. Hey, yeah. um, uh, He's got just, oh, look at his toes. They yeah, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, ah, ah. Oh, when the, when the splashes get me. Ah! Oh la 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 I'm running I'm running Bim shit in him matra la 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 That actually like I'm really not faking it that water is super super hot like to a point where I, I thought it was going to be a little colder than I put my foot in there kind of deep and it straight up burned it. Uh, the sign up there says temperature 59 Celsius. Oh, so it says 59 Celsius up there? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And it has 800 milligrams of calcium, sulfates, magnesium. Jeez, that's crazy. And it has um, magnesium as well. Oh. That's like the number one ingredient to make you healthy. <laughs> yeah, you got it on your skin, bro. Your skin's never been cleaner. Yeah, I look about 10 years younger, which would make me 15. <laughs> Yalla? Yalla, uh, Hobby. Uh, uh, on the, uh, the trash? Ah, uh, trash. Trash? Uh, trash? Tip la ilak. La ilak. Walla. Habib Elbe. Sharafna. Wait. A little bit back. You gotta try some of this. Shukran, shukran, ya khayy. Our good, our good man watched it. What do we got going on over here, boys? Whoa, that is such an interesting taste. I don't even know what to compare that to. I guess probably the thing that I would say is most similar to it that I've had in terms of texture, it's similar to an oyster. What would you guys say? Similar to an oyster? Yeah, I think it's like unique. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's kind of like a really soft and a little bit fishy and a little bit limey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're squeezing lime is, into it. Oh, lime in it. That's why we've got some interesting ones. Yeah, he's just got a bucket of them right down there. How much does he charge for one? So, oh. thousand dinar for two. The two million dinar. Tlete? 
ايه سبعه اه سبعه 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 Ah, it's literally ice cold water. Oh, that's nothing. Oh! He's in. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Ah! He got me good. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. No, no, no. Shukran la kill shi yakhay. Min shuf kuna riban is the alarat. I love when they do this. Yeah, exactly. All right. Until next time, Hot Springs, it's been fun. It's been a while. Kif kun. Tamem? Oh, Man City. Man City Hellway. Very good. Oh. That's a, oh, oh, the Donathan, you gotta try one of these. These are super dank, bro. What is it? Is oh, it you won't like it because it's sugar, but they fry them up and they load it up with sugar. Yeah. And even people that don't like sugar will love it. <laughs> and fast forward just a little bit, guys. We have been chilling. They had a little uh, shrimp on the bobby. And look at this. Hear that sound it's very peaceful over here it's far from the city in tunis you just have distant sounds of fishermen and people swimming a boat way way out there in the distance you can see some mountains it's such an exotic skyline right here you know like you have a cloudy hazy look with the rays of the sun coming out really a beautiful place to go on an adventure too as you guys have probably started to figure out, this is going to be a shorter trip to Tunisia because I've got some commitments after this. But I can tell you, I the videos that I've made here, I've loved making them. And I've gotten an idea while I've been here of all the things there are to do. So I'm going to come back here really soon and explore a lot more of it. That way, I'd dedicate a couple more weeks. I think probably three weeks to explore all the places would be a solid amount of time. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Fast forward to the next day, my friends. We have gone to another place. I decided to extend yesterday's video because this morning was a two and a half hour road trip to get to this beautiful beach, a different beach, all white sand over here and a lot going on. As you can see, it's one of the most popular beaches. All of these people extending down here. We've got some, I didn't want a cold beverage. Marhaba. Uh, and kun, uh, uh, mayam sa'a? Tamam, tamam. You guys want waters? Arba wa mol maruf? Arba. Arba. Arba beer. Uh, ade betreed khayi? Uh, tamam is the nani. Kulchi ala elfi, kulchi ala elfi. Shamsiya. 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 Hmm? Shamsiya. 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 All right, we got ourselves a nice ice cold water. The boys got us taken care of here, right on the beach. So if you come here thirsty like we did, you'll be in a good spot. Haydul Kirse. Shukran, shukran. So they're hooking us up for uh, 20 dinars with a table too, a little taule. So guys, officially we are at Plage de la Mensura. And this is what, two hours, 20 minutes away? Closest landmark, Hammam El Agzaz. And it is 
known most commonly as Calibia. So a lot of people say Calibia really fast, so if you don't recognize the K in front of it, it sounds like they're saying, oh, you should visit Libya, but they're saying Calibia. And so, yeah, this is obviously the most popular beach that we've been to thus far. I mean, there's thousands of people along this beach, but it's just a completely different experience. Even from like the sand we showed you in a previous video, it's much more fine with the uh, like white sand feel and the water is just shining in a, like a multicolored turquoise. So such a vibe. We're gonna go for a swim in just a few. This right here just goes to show you guys how close we are to Italy. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. Let's see if I can go like this. We're there and that is Italy right there. That's gotta be something like maybe 100 kilometers, just over 50 miles. So that's pretty awesome to see that. Let's see a nice little swim in this area is like. The water is crystal clear. And a lot of people out here. Oh yeah, we're going straight. Oh, that is ice cold. Ice cold, but refreshing. Oh. Look at this guys, the beach stretches. Oh, we got some big waves coming in. Really big wave. Oh. And it stretches all the way down here. Time to go under. Three, two. That is quite nice. It's actually a little chilly, but wow, this is like a completely different feel. I didn't swim in the other area, and uh, oh, when we were at the other beach, and like it's just a night and day difference. So, oh, we're getting a big, a big wave here. This is crazy. I'm gonna put you guys under. Now that we're further out here, we've got resorts. It looks like all along this area that lead down there, some more being constructed. And at the very top, it seems like there's a castle out there. So pretty sweet to, uh, to uh, see another side of Tunisia. Two hours and 20 minutes, and we left around noontime today from uh, Tunis. And not a bad road trip. I didn't show too much on the way because it was actually the same drive we took for where we went earlier in the video to uh, Cordoba Springs. And uh, yeah, well, I think we're gonna go chill here for a bit and maybe find some food in this area and explore some of the town if we have time. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? We lost it. We lost it. Oh, we got a little bit going on back here. All right, we have walked from all the way down there, right here, and I guess this is the restaurant area, so we've got them surrounding us, and some street food stands we're gonna be stopping by and checking out here. I'm not sure where we're gonna be eating, but follow the boys this way. Oh, I see a bambaloni. You like bambaloonies? Hot. So we're coming over here, and I guess once the beach ends, it turns into this rocky coast right here where people are kind of like swimming out there, maybe even jumping off the cliffs out in this direction so we've also got some nice restaurants sitting along this coast the don right here donathan aka Vincent hello Sons. welcome to monaco welcome Marhaba ya khaye. and here we are monaco bay restaurant this looks like a proper vibe Marhaba. restaurant tourist oh we got a pool in here too monaco bay yeah, what is this? Uh, there you go. Television. No, no. I'm a YouTuber. YouTuber. Yeah. Shoes, my kia Ned. 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 All right, shukran. All right, well, this is gonna be the spot then, it looks like. Um, um wait for it, bro. Uh, uh, tamam, tamam. You want uh, an uh, Tunisian beer? Tamam. Nen? O tamam. Nen mai. Also, um, mai, water. Mai, water? Mai. 
بلبنان معي 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 Fish, meat, what do you like? Meat. Meat? Eh. Filet? Eh, jeige. No. Mafi jeige? Si. Jeige, chicken. It's chicken. Chicken. Scallop. Huh? Scallop. Scallop, where? Ah, here. Yes. Okay. Mm, I'll have the beef. One escalop, one beef. Uh, I don't know about our friend. Oh, uh, Rufia, Mabarif, uh, Wayne Halla, but. I bring. The bottle water and two beers, huh? Shukran Khaye. Shukran. Aishik. Aishik, yeah. And boom, we just made it up to the top. Whoa. Oh my god. We were just at the beach and we teleported up here, my friends. By up here, we were right in front of a 5th century BC castle. And if you look out here, that was the beach we were just at probably like an hour and a half ago, right down there where all the people are. And this whole area is like the coastline of Clibia. And now that we've like gotten up here, we've got a better view of the city. Because when we first arrived, I was sleeping for a lot of it. So I actually didn't know how close we were to the city center. And we parked in an area that was a bit far from where everyone else was parking. So I was like, oh, it's a pretty low-key place. But now that we're up here, way high up in the air, you can see all of the different pockets of this side of the coastal city. Looks like this is where the people with a lot of masare, aka flus, are living. Aka villas right there. So that would be a walk that if we had a little bit more time, we'd be doing it. What do you think? It used to be a Roman place? Roman fort, and actually there's another name for this place. They actually called it a certified vibe. Oh, that is spot on. I read that actually on Wikipedia. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, written by Mr. Jagod Shire. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, it's a beautiful place, and I'm glad we decided to go up here when we did, because when we first arrived here a couple hours ago, it was so, so hot, and you can tell like all the locals are coming up here right after to uh, check out the sunset. I guess on one of these sides here, probably up here to the right, that's where we're gonna be able to uh, find like a sunset cafe that a lot of people go to. But we wanted to take you inside the fort because obviously this is like a massive staple and top thing to do when you're in Clibia. But uh, we were sitting outside because we walked up the hill and while we were sitting outside, they closed the gates. So maybe it closes by 6.30. Guess we'll have to come back to Clibia yeah. real soon, brother. Have to attack the fort. Full speed ahead. Uh, march Ra on. Raise the drawbridge. Uh, we're coming in. One cup of red wine. Yalla. But as you can probably tell, all around here, they've done a fair amount of remodels to this place. Because this side, you can really see all the ruins here. Over here, with all like the cement and the cracks, you can tell they've had to do a lot of work to it. Because if you know, like uh, I learned at one castle I was in, maybe it was when I was in Colombia, that you get so much of like this wind bringing in the salt water, which just corrodes this type of rock over time. Yeah, yeah, this is a great example of it. And so you have to like uh, keep up with the repairs here. And now I'm seeing why there's a 360 degree view around this castle. We're coming up to the port and it's definitely getting us closer to the sunset here. And it looks like we've even got some like uh, National Guard or police boats out there as well. Oh, this is a dream right here. Look at this. All right. And look at this. I bet this uh, castle's lit up maybe. Oh, <laughs> it's a garbage can. I thought this would be light shining up on the castle. Uh, I think it used to be. Castle. Oh, it used to be? Well, now they're gone. Because that would have been pretty sweet. This is so wild how these stones are now. Where they've just like all this, I guess that would be maybe sandstone, just kind of almost look like coral right there. What'd you find in that one? It's empty. I think they will be stolen or something. Oh, yeah. Looks like they did some remodels on it or something. Took that out of the budget. Wow, this, this is an incredible time. This is making me wish, guys, that we had more time in Clibia to stay here and enjoy it because. We've got uh, a massive, massive city that I bet there's so much to do in there. Completely different vibe than Tunis. And for this big of a city, it's actually quite peaceful, I will tell you. There it is. 
There it is, Cafe du Fort. Marhaba, ya khayi. Marhaba. Oh, this car needs a nice wash. Oh, wow. Cleanest <laughs> car in uh, Tunisia. <laughs> I know, it's like everyone's writing on it. All right, here we go. Hello. Hello, Cafe du Fort. The emperor's arrived. We're looking for something nice to drink or sip on. Maybe a beer. Oh, a nice ice cold, nice cold. Wow, all right, Marhaba. this looks like a proper vibe. Marhaba, ya khayi. Marhaba. Marhaba. Kifak. Uh, Kifak. Uh, Kifak. I'm here. 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 Marhaba, ya khayi. I'm going to speak in English. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. نحن نعم في تونس أول مرة بتونس أول مرة شرفنا مرحبا شرفنا يا خي أهلا وسهلا عندكم شيشة أو إيه تفضل أو كبير شيشة بدنا حمود نانا we want to get a bigger area yeah yeah نحن تمانية شخصين شخصين تمانية تمانية أشخاص تمانية إيه إيه يمكن هونيك؟ بي بي ايش ايش؟ ايش؟ All right, look at this. كثير حلوة. Oh, this looks like the spot. شكرا شكرا بدر. Oh, this looks like the spot. في You want lemon and mint? إيه إيه. اثنين حمود نانا. اثنين أرجيلي حمود نانا. اثنين. Yeah. I don't know that one. Mabari Fidel Kalimet. Tefe is a Mazra. Tefe. Ah, apple. Eh, apple. Eh, Hamud Nana. Lemon or mint? Hamud Nana. Ham Hamud Nana. Mish tufe, mish tufe. Tufe is apple. Yeah, that's fine. Limon. Limon. Ah, limon or mint? Oui. Oui, oui, oui. I think. What do you think? Test it out. Yeah. Yeah. Taib. Yeah. Oh. I don't think they've got beer as here. What do you think? Teas. Yeah. Oh, and kun tea. Chai, eh? No. Tamem. Do you know what you're saying? Uh, no. Lucky <laughs> dip. It's yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, we exactly. don't know what we're going to get. My comment, you want water? Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Shukran, ya khai. Ya tik alf afia. Ay, shik. All right. Well, we got ourselves some uh, delicious shisha coming along. I didn't recognize some of the words because since they mix French here with Arabic, when I said hamud nana, which means uh, lemon and mint, I guess... Uh, I guess they must use the French words for it. And I don't know any French besides how to say je ne parle pas français, which is, I don't speak French. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people will be commenting on this video saying, oh, you said this wrong, you said this wrong, but you gotta keep in mind that Mac and myself less, so have specifically learned like a different dialect. So it's very, this is very different. Some people will understand, some people won't, but it's extremely different. So yeah, the fact yeah. that you've been able to just even have a basic conversation with someone is really impressive yeah yeah honestly i've been a little shocked because the guys we were talking about if you saw the earlier videos they're telling us there's a bit of italian in here a bit of arabic a bit of french and they just have their own unique words to the dialect so they say that like i read somewhere someone told me this in the last couple days that algerian moroccan and libyan probably correct me if i'm wrong in the comments those are like the three hardest dialects for other Arab countries to understand, yet these Arab countries understand all of them. Moroccan. Did yeah. you say Moroccan? Yeah, yeah, Moroccan too, yeah. Shukran. Shu Haida? Hedo Bundok. Hedo Bundok. Pino. Pino. Je ne parle pas français. Pino. Min Honig? Wow. Hello. Shukran. Aisha. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's warm. Yeah, yes. it's hot. Kesak. Kesak, you That's really, really good. That's really good, but yeah. did you bite the seeds too? No. Oh. They're an interesting flavor. They taste like a, 
What nut is that? It's like a peanut without the peanutty taste? Yeah. It's got the same texture though. And the uh like the minty tea. as well. Yeah, a little bit minty. Yeah, that's the main difference. It's just the nuts on top. But it tastes like a traditional like really good Arabic tea. Well guys, the shisha has arrived. Let's test this thing out. Well, my Arabic's not great, but we got Hamoud Nana. Not bad, huh? Time to rip him. Oh yeah, that is quite nice, I'd say. I mean, look at this guy's dress. We've got the uh, total vibe session. We've got the uh, rock back rest right here. Ah, nice shisha here and incredible views. Would be cool if the cafe faced the uh, sunset, but then you would miss the coastline. So it's like, it's a bit of a trade off. So I think I prefer the coastline. And one thing guys, you probably saw that in all my videos lately, I've been wearing the uh, Perception shirt everywhere I go because it is fitting no matter where I go, no matter what we've been up to because they fit like a glove. So if you guys wanna check these out, I just launched the clothing brand and I'm super excited about it. You're definitely going to love it. So head down to the link in the description below if you want. And anyways, let's get back to enjoying a nice one of these.